Dear friends, today we will focus on the research area, particularly highlighting the nature of education for sustainable development and teacher education. As we know, all of us are students of education and we are already exposed to different issues concerning educational research in general. But today we will discuss about the issues concerning education for sustainable development and education for sustainable development research is of a multidisciplinary orientation. So, we will have to see there is a need to theorize such multidisciplinary concept of education for sustainable development taking into consideration evolving nature of different concepts focusing on the sustainability in life. Now, we'll have to say that how research will be geared to plan the curricular inputs and practices leading to achievement of sustainable and quality education at different stages, starting from primary to lifelong learning stage. And it must focus on the socio-cultural factors, the learning resources, the management support for sustainability, and pedagogical efficiencies and competencies of teachers for sustainable learning and teaching, learning and evaluation process leading to achievement of objectives of quality learning in the context of sustainable development. So this is the first issue of research in the context of education for sustainable development. In this regard, we will have to see how the effect of different kinds of learner-centric pedagogical instructional inputs, the learner-directed, learning-oriented curricular inputs, especially employing and facilitating different kinds of technology integration in learning for development of sustainable competencies of learners at different level. Such research should be conducted at elementary stage, at secondary stage, at higher education stage, and lifelong learning and adult education stage. So, if you see the research in sustainable development and quality education, we should focus on the community role, the community of students, the community of teachers, the community of professional groups, and the community outside the school system and especially different sustainable development goal-oriented educational initiatives, how they are being viewed by such communities with the holistic perspective of education for sustainable development. The second part here is that how the support system is to be strengthened at different levels the experiences related to local level, the experiences related to regional level, 
and experiences related to national level. Four, policy makers and educational administrators. The research should focus on big experiences and the research studies, the findings should facilitate decision making of the administrators and policy makers at different levels of education. So, the local level policy and implementation, so regional level policy and implementation, national level policy and implementation, and international level policy and implementation of education should be supported by research on education for professional development. The significance of research in education for sustainable development, it focuses on how quality inputs will be developed in learning resources, including development of ICT-based e-learning materials for quality learning, for self-directed learning, and for autonomous learning of learners at different stage of education. So research should focus on research on the quality education inputs. And it must promote the professionals, the academia, and the community members' involvement in educational practice and incorporating participatory research activities for strengthening quality education. And research should focus on the involvement of stakeholders in quality education. There should be program evaluation study describing how things work in naturalistic conditions of school system and how planning and implementation of transformatory learning practices are encouraged through proper leadership. The output evaluations of different innovations and innovative practices related to quality schooling, that should be also part and parcel of research on education for sustainable development. In this regard, if we say that the research on teacher development practices related to different areas of education for sustainable development, how they should be a part and parcel of teacher education curriculum. It should focus on development of teachers' competencies related to sustainable learning and teachers' competencies for development of autonomous learning and self-directed learning inside classroom and outside classroom systems. The research should create the competencies of teachers and research efforts by teachers to create conducive environment for students' learning in different contexts of sustainable development goals starting from economic prosperity, eradication of poverty, in the context of well-being of people, hygiene, health, exploring the energy systems and nature-friendly, eco-friendly lifestyles and management systems. So research should focus on these areas. And development of teaching learning process in the context of education for sustainable development should be a part and parcel of teacher education research. Teacher education research should focus on the how the knowledge and skills of learners and teachers 
in the context of specific situations so that the context specific learning skills and context specific knowledge generation process will be encouraged through teacher education research next area is the self directed autonomous learning among teachers to be encouraged through research and awareness as a part and parcel of pre service teacher education as well as professional development of in service teachers next area of research is the futuristic orientation so that the competencies of teachers and learners should be developed for exploring the alternative futures and developing a trajectory of futures learning society linking educational experiences of present with futures now the research questions on teacher education for education for sustainable development what should be the research questions the first one is related to the curriculum of the teacher education and teacher development so what is the need based curriculum for teachers and teacher educators related to multidisciplinary and holistic concept of education for sustainable development and the competencies linked with education for sustainable development what should be the curriculum for preparing teachers and teacher educators on specific areas of sustainable development goals like the curriculum area related to eradication of poverty curriculum related to energy exploration the curriculum related to healthy life and health and hygiene and well being of people curriculum related to eradication of poverty curriculum related to curbing gender disparity so what should be the curriculum of teacher education in this context that should be highlighted through research what are the efficient and effective strategies for development of education for sustainable development competency among teachers and teacher educators the pedagogic principles adopted for teacher training requires the transformation and we must emphasize on transformation learning oriented competency to be incorporated as a part and parcel of teacher development programs through research efforts fourth question is what are the effective strategies for encouraging community participation projects through school community interface and learning from the environment and socio cultural setting for teacher and teacher educators so the research should also focus on the quality indicators of teacher development in the context of sustainable development goals at different stages of education next question here is that how we should link the learning resources in different context specific situations for teacher development programs at school stage at higher education stage and lifelong continuing education stage next to the i what are the effective strategies for integration of technology particularly information technology information communication technology and artificial intelligence based teaching learning system and strategy for teacher development practices by 
incorporating suitable pedagogical principles in technology integration. Next question is how networking of teachers, the teachers' communities, the professionals, with other kinds of stakeholders, they contribute to quality improvement in teacher development practices. What are the long-term effects of teacher development practices on future school system and how teacher education is to be futuristic in nature? What are the effective strategies for integrating technology in teacher development with futuristic orientation for education for sustainable development. Different comparative studies, the comparative educational studies at national development practices, at state level, at regional level, and international level are to be addressed through researches on teacher education. Dear friends, we are all students of educational research and we are concerned with methodological issues concerning research in education in general and particularly when we talk about education for sustainable development, it is to be linked with the scientific methods of research as well as qualitative methods of research which we call as mixed method approach. I will touch some areas of mixed method and the mixed method research is to be encouraged in the context of philosophy and principles of the holistic nature of education for sustainable development. So in this regard, we will have to justify how the quantitative, scientific and qualitative naturalistic approaches are to be incorporated in research methodological practices on educational efforts for sustainable development. The data should be both qualitative and quantitative in nature. And in this regard, we have to see that how qualitative studies, the case studies conducted at institutional level are emphasized, the naturalistic studies are emphasized. The experimental studies conducted through action researches by teachers, they also play major role in education for professional development of teachers. General survey methods are also conducted for comparison of different practices related to sustainable development goals. We go for conducting interviews, observations for collecting qualitative data-based inquiries and linking it with holistic development of education. So in this regard, we go for applying mixed method approaches on education for sustainable development research. There are different types of mixed method approach. One is convergent parallel design where quantitative methods are adopted and at the same time the qualitative methods are adopted. They go in parallel form and at the end the results of qualitative studies and quantitative studies are fused together to arrive at the conclusion. Second category is explanatory sequential design that some experiments are conducted by teachers and they are followed by qualitative interpretations of quantitative studies. Next approach is exploratory sequential design through qualitative studies, interviews, observations, naturalistic studies, we arrive at certain trends and arrive some factors influencing the phenomena. So such grounded theories are tested through 
some kind of experiments conducted at the end of qualitative study. The embedded research design, it emphasizes on every stage of research is integrating quantitative data with qualitative data, like a questionnaire having objective questions and having qualitative questions. Transformative design, it is emphasizing on bringing change, bringing innovations in the system through qualitative and quantitative interventions in the real school system and natural systems. So we go for both the methods leading to transformations of teaching learning practices. We go for multi-phase design in case of large scale evaluation studies and comparative studies, we go for different approaches at different stages, particularly in the case of curriculum development and curricular effectiveness, we adapt different methods to answer different research questions at different stages. For example, in curriculum development study, we go for exploring needs. We next, it is followed by the qualitative interventions of experts for jotting down curricular objectives. Then it is integrated with development of curricular inputs through technology interventions. Then we go for conducting experimentations to see the effectiveness of curriculum. So in different stages, we go for adopting different methodological procedures that is incorporated in mixed method design as multi-phase design. So here when I talk about diagrammatic representation of mixed method approach, the convergent parallel design, it goes with quantitative data collections and qualitative data collections simultaneously, and we compare or relate and we interpret as common. In explanatory sequential design, quantitative experimentations are followed up with qualitative index study, and it is followed by interpretation. Exploratory sequential design, the qualitative grounded theories followed by the experimentations and quantitative explanations followed by interpretations. Next, in the case of embedded design, we go for qualitative design incorporated in quantitative design like objective questions followed by subjective questions. Transformative design is the qualitative data collections, qualitative experience-based learning is followed by quantitative theoretical explanations and it is linked to interpretations for bringing change in the system. The multi-phase design, for example, for Objective one, we may go for qualitative study. For objective two, we are going for quantitative study. And then we go for both in case of objective three. So the overall program objectives are bifurcated and then they are linked with embedded design. So dear friends, we go for mixed method design in case of education for sustainable development research, particularly in the context of education, and as teacher educators, we must incorporate different paradigms of research to answer different questions on research on education for sustainable development. Thank you very much.
Thank you.